this video is my personal opinion, so feel free to express your own in the comment section below. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tantan here. And today I have a brand new show. Following my modeling with Tantan, here's the new show, Checking with Tantan. So this is not actually a review. This is me, based on my opinion, judging some figures that if it's worth it to purchase and collect or not. Because the problem is that nowadays we got, got a lot of third parties producing Transformer figures. And some of them are good, some of them are bad. But the common theme is that their price are raising over time and sometimes to be frankly too much so I'm gonna use this show as a way to help you conclude yourself to see if this is going to fit with your collections and also with your funding so I hope you enjoyed it and here's the first episode this is the Toy World Tactic Waistcoat Deluxe version so now let's begin so I'm gonna judge this figure through 10 aspects judging from 1 to 10 and then the sum will be x slash 100 so about the vehicle mode I'm gonna judge it by the scale and the color in the robot mode is the how I transform it the difficulties and the movie accuracy of transformation and on the looks of the robot of course we still have the scale the colors because it is different from the vehicle mode and then we have this scale of the materials so like is it fully plastic or it got some die cast and then the joint accessories and then finally the price at the time of this video is being filmed so let's begin so firstly based on the vehicle board and this is still the G1 Optimus but the difference here is that this is a supposedly G1 movie Optimus considering that he takes parts in Bumblebee and the first thing I want to point out here is that the scaling are a little bit off here unfortunately we haven't got any officials G uh, Bumblebee Optimus yet so besides the Studio Series version so we don't have any fully accuracy scaling for the vehicle mode we, all we got is a Studio Series version so I'm gonna bring it in so here we have the Studio Series version and you can all notice that this one thing is off here is that this the truck section is a little bit too long because this is comprised of the feet of the figures so to me this is a downside considering that they could have done it some better ways of hiding these feet away and to be honest with you I'm not too happy with this scaling here so the rest of the vehicle mode looks fine I still haven't take out this plastic cover because I don't want the glass to be scratched other than that I mean like this is acceptable nothing too major and of course when you talk about the colors the paint apps here is brilliant you got some rusty effects here and here some weathering of dust over here fairly I enjoy displaying him at this angle and this angle but I'm not feeling too sure about displaying at this because this is way too long of course you, I, you got some part for converting into a Cybertronian vehicle mode but to me that is a little bit too much and for the money making so so in conclusion the vehicle mode will get the points for the design of the truck will be the 4 out of 10 the reason for that is mainly because of the extra feet length which I generally dislike and about the paint jobs on the vehicle mode that is an absolutely nice because I love how they threw out weathering the whole truck so that would be a 9 for sure so now let's skip through the transformation and then get some comments out of it. So about the transformation, I'm not going to do the whole transformation because this is not a review. So I would say that there will be this tab over here. I'm going to bring this guy closer so as you can see. So if you went through transforming the chest, it's actually really hard to tap to get this through. And that is because of the engineering. So sometimes when I do transform him, it is really frustrating to get this in. Sometimes I have to remove the head. And that is basically a fault because in my opinion, a toy shouldn't be that hard. I mean like I appreciate the many steps, but to be frustrated and difficult in transforming one step, this is the hard point because the problem is that this is not a cheap figures. So it actually, when you do transform him with a lot of people, they might break it and that thing shouldn't be happening. So the transformation point will run only around 6 out of 10 so about the movie accuracy of the transformation I would say that it did a great job because especially they still use the exact chest piece without the use of fake chest 
and you can still see this is the leg section so to me this is will be around 8 out of 10 on movie accuracy I think this is a fair grade because of one problem is that this thing the chest section doesn't really tap in or anything it is really hard to keep this in and just, just look floppy like this and that to me is any really down point but again 8 out of 10 I think it's a fair we have some comments about the paint apps and this is a continuation of the success in the vehicle mode paint apps on here looks superb I love all this nice weathering effects that they have on the vehicle mode and then you got some more on the shoulders and throughout the body some battle damage weathering so absolutely superb on the paint apps this is still a 9 out of 10 for painting one more thing about the displacement of the materials so we got plenty of die cast metal and in this figure first up this whole bicep is made of die cast metal this whole thigh section is die cast metal all the joint here are die cast metal and they are really stable as you see this you got a whole you got a big hunk of die cast metal over here that is really impressive and then again you got the rubber ties which is really nice in my opinion Again, one down thing that I got for this guy will be the lack of diecast metal. I would prefer to have some diecast metal onto the feet, you know, to have stabilized the figures. But I guess what we got. Anyway, we got the diecast metal at the crucial point of joint and some details, which is really nice. And I absolutely adore the bicep, which is made out completely of diecast. So for the material scaling, that is definitely a 9 out of 10. And for the articulation, so one point of selling to up towers to all the purchaser will be this figure has superb articulation and I have to be totally agree with them I enjoy this figure I enjoy posing this guy and the pose held together really good all the joints are tight except for one in particular which is the hand because of the problem of the socket this is a bone socket so and it is kind of loose so it might be a problem when you handling the weapons and accessories but other than that i enjoy posing this guy and also all the articulation are really good and i will show you some pose of him and to me this is still a good point of purchasing this guy so the possibility point definitely a 8 out of 10. so talking about a little bit of accessories as you can see this guy come packed with the guns and ammunitions and of course this is the deluxe version so he came with a base as well the purpose of this base for displaying and of course it comes with some sound effects but then the sounds are pretty bad because this is cut directly from the movie so in my opinion that is not really impressive other than that you got this is way too many accessories and i think this is the way they try to make money out of the figures because like uh, they're gonna do it like hey we got some a lot of weapons so let's increase the price up so for accessories i'm gonna give this guy an absolute 10 out of 10 because of the variety of accessories we have so not only we have optimus famous path ion blaster we got a pistol we got something like a shotgun we got a sniper rifle which is the first to see with an optimus we got a shield that split into an axe we got the effect parts we got extra tires we got the two boxes which is mostly for the weapon storage and accessory storage and we got some effect parts and to me this is quite massive so if you are looking for an opportunity to display your optimus with a variety of weaponry i think this is the figure for you so for accessories i repeat again 10 out of 10. so at the time of this recording i do some research on the internet and it's mostly they sold the deluxe version of this this optimus for roughly 250 to 300 dollars and I think that is an actually quite a little bit of the price considering that he is a third party figure. But then again, he is a masterpiece scale and it comes with packed with a lot of accessories. In, in my opinion, this price is kind of fair to you hardcore G1 Optimus fan who wish to possess a masterpiece scale version with a lot of accessories. But like I said, this figure is not for everyone. So the price point I will give it will go around 6 to 10 because of the way too expensive price here so that concludes my analytic about this optimus so let, let's see how many points does he get in total so after all the analytic this guy got 7.6 point over on the scale of 10 so i think that is a pretty fair price for this figure so i would highly recommend this guy if you got resources and funding but if you're not I would recommend some other figures, which is will be the next episode of my Checking with Tonton, which will be the M09 Optimus from Wei Zhang. So stay tuned for the episode 2.
and that will be it for today so follow my instagram and subscribe to my channel if you're new and also hit that like and share it. and what do you guys think of this new show that i'm doing right now feel free to tell me in the comment section below so that will be it for today guys turn on out